So you did it. You bought a house plant. Whether you were influenced or you found something that was a really good deal, you bought a house plant. This video is for beginners who are stepping outside of their comfort zone. And maybe what you won't see from Instagram is that it takes work to take care of plants and I want to set you up for success so that you have a positive experience and then not be scarred by killing your plants. So these are my seven tips. The inspiration behind this video is that I bought a variegated ficus elastica recently because it was too good a deal at Trader Joe's. It was like $16 and I was like so I bought it and then as I was posting stories I realized there's a lot of stuff that I've figured out over the past year that has been immensely helpful in acclimating plants to your new home so I thought I would share them with you. The first thing you want to do is inspect the plant really carefully. Hopefully you've done that at the store but I know that sometimes it's challenging because you want to grab the plant before anyone else does. This is the time that you want to do a thorough inspection, checking between the leaves, in the soil, good lighting. The second thing is your plant may have come from a big box store. It may have come from a nursery and the conditions in those places are different. So I would say that it's better to keep your new plant in a shady room rather than one that gets intense sun because that might shock the plant. You want to give it a smooth transition. The other thing you want to do is to wipe down the leaves with water. I would use a towel that I was going to wash anyway and then wipe down each and every single leaf. Sometimes I even put rubbing alcohol on the towel and then that can ensure that I'm killing bug if there are any. And number four for the visuals but also to do a thorough inspection is to clear away any debris, dead leaves, or stuff that is covering the soil. I bought one plant that had sphagnum moss as the top layer and then when I peeked underneath it I could see that yikes it was root bound. It was going to need to be repotted pretty soon. Number five, a beginner mistake is just overwatering plants. So before you decide to do that, stick your finger in the soil to see whether it needs to be watered or not. Because if it's super wet, you don't need to water it. In fact, you might even want to place it near the sun so that it can dry out because if you've watched my previous videos, moist soil means you're likely gonna have bugs. Number six, I like to be thorough and spray it down with some bug spray. I make it myself with a combination of neem oil, tea tree oil, and when I say bug spray, I don't mean the stuff that kills ants and cockroaches. You should use something that is safe for live plants. And seven, when you bring it home, you want to keep it in a place separate from where you're keeping the rest of your plants, you're going to quarantine your plants. With COVID, you know what that is, right? Setting it apart, isolated for like one week at, or two even. Let it sit for at least a week. Even if it is root bound, you let it acclimate to its new place. I sort of feel like this camera is not doing her justice. She looks really gorgeous in real life. You know, my mom had a black thumb and I thought that I did too, but what I found is that usually what she does is she just set it and forget it. So I hope that these tips help give you the know-how to make it so that you and your plants can thrive. If you have any tips of your own that I neglected to share, please do it in the comments below. And I will see you next time. Bye!